Now in this question it is given that the atomic number of the element is equal to 60. We have to predict the number of valence electrons. So to predict the number of valence electrons, we will write the electronic configuration of this element. So electronic configuration, the first shell is the K shell and we know that the maximum number of electrons that the first shell can have is 2. So the first shell will have 2 electrons. Similarly, the second shell can have maximum number of 8 electrons. So 8 electrons will go in the second shell. 8 plus 2, 10. Total I have 16 electrons. So 16 minus 10 is 6. So 6 electrons are left which will go in the third shell. So the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 6. And let's try to, so the number of valence electrons is nothing. Number of valence electrons is the electrons which are present in the outermost shell. So here the first shell will be the K shell, then L, and then M, which is the third shell. Now because third shell have 6 electrons, so number of electrons in the outermost shell is 6. Hence, number of valence electrons is 6. Then the second part says we need to calculate the valency. Always remember valency is nothing. It is simply equal to number of valence electrons or 8 minus number of valence electrons, which in this case is 8 minus 6, that is 2. So we take the smaller out of these two numbers, that is 2. Hence, the valency will be 2 in this case. Let's go to third part. In the third part, they have asked for this element, we have to tell the group number. Right? So if we see in the periodic table, the element with atomic number 16 is sulfur, which lies in the 16th group of the periodic table. Hence, the group number in this case is 16. Right? Then fourth part, they have asked that whether it is a metal or a non-metal. Always remember that the elements which are present in the left hand side of the period, they are metals and as we move in a period from left to right, the metallic character decreases. Now because this element is present in the right of the periodic table in its right in its period, so hence it will be a non-metal. So we can see that this element is a non-metal because in its period it is present on the right hand side. So on the left hand side of a period we have metals and on the right hand side we have the non-metals. And let's go to next part, the nature of oxide formed by it. Always remember that the metals form basic oxides and non-metals form acidic oxide. Because it is a non-metal, so it will form an acidic oxide. Then sixth part, we have to predict the formula of its chloride. Right? Let's say the element is X and other element is chlorine. Let's write the valencies of these two elements. For X, we have just seen that the valency is 2 and for chlorine we know that the valency is 1. So what we do while calculating the formula? We simply crisscross these valencies. So hence the formula would become x, 1 will go under x and 2 will go under chlorine. So it would become xcl2. Hence the formula of chloride in this case is xcl2.